Welcome back to Overly Common Gamers, and today guys, early this morning, well, not really early, I kind of woke up late, but this morning we got a box, and I, yes, I've already opened it, um, mainly because when you get mail, you just kind of open the mail, but in it, we have two blizzard packs, it's, uh, this is all thanks to my brother, who, uh, ooh, look at that Vulpix, it even, it's a beacon Vulpix. I like it. Um, he went ahead and bought like the, uh, I guess the ultimate collection. Uh, it comes with like all the individual, like, you know, well, it comes with four packs. It comes with the two different blister packs. It comes with both elite trainer boxes. Here's the other one. Lunala, well, I guess it's Dustmane, Necrozma, and Duskwing, or Dawnwings, I don't know. I don't know the names. The both of the should be both of the battle decks that you know for new players who start off, and a booster box which I am excited to open. But since this is a new set and you know we need to learn what's in it, I think we're going to go with one of these first. One of these uh, elite trainer boxes mainly because. It has that special book in there that um, that tells you pretty much what you're looking for and everything that's inside. So I'm going to, I guess we're going to decide right now which box to open. My, uh, the box I just put on my bed fell over. And we're going to do that by flipping this mega, oh, what's his name? I can't, what's his name, guys? Camera? Mega camera? Camera? Whatever. Uh, if heads were going to open... This one, the uh, Dawn Wings, and if Tails, we open Dustmane. So let's go ahead and flip that. Tails, Dustmane, it is. And we'll move all this stuff off to the side. Oh, I'm excited to open up these. The brand new set that came out yesterday, so I know I'm like a day late, and you guys are probably already tired of seeing this set already, but whatever. Get over it. I haven't seen it yet. I did go to the, um, excuse me, coffee's coming back up. The pre-release. I did not get a single thing at all. I mean, I may got like one hollow rare and that's the rarest thing I got. So it was kind of a bust for me, but that's okay. All right, so here we go. We got the, the Elite Trainer. Ooh, ooh, merchandise. If you, uh, if you live inside this, United States, you know, you can go to the PokemonCenter.com. Uh, you can buy all this cool stuff. So I highly recommend it if you're a Pokemon fan you want to buy stuff. They have like play mats, you know, plush toys and everything. This, uh, this is probably going to be very important for most people because they introduce a new type of card, the Prism cards. I've yet to get one. I, I just, I have read up on them though. And I honestly really, really want to make this Lunala Prism card work somehow. It just, if I get it, I'll read it to you, but it's just a, such a strong card if you can actually get it going. And you know, here's the set. It's such a, such a pretty set with the Prisms in there. And then where is the, the cards that we're, we're wanting? We are wanting, well, oh, this page. God, there's so many. They just keep adding more and more. But the real gold prize cards are these. This is what we want. The Lunala and Solgaleo GX gold cards. But what? What's their rarity? It's just a secret rare. Okay. But, but that's pretty much it for that Elite Trainer book. And as always, we'll keep opening. What's, uh, let's see that picture that's always on the inside of these that I don't think anyone else ever shows. I'm excited for it. Oh, you got Dustman on top, Dawn Wings, then Giratina, and Leafeon. Kind of out of place, Leafy. You know, you get three legendaries and just an EV evolution. But you know, toss that to the side, toss the cardboard, create a big giant mess behind me. All right. Um. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just give him one. There's the code card. If I open up my own Elite Trainer box, I'm going to give that to my brother because he likes to keep those. 
uh, Coke cards because he likes to get the sleeves. Here's the dividers. Awesome looking dividers though, the orange and crack. These sleeves, bright yellow. I wish it was black background, but you know, that's all right. Here's the best part, all the energies. I'm not gonna open them up because you can kind of guess what's in there. There's no new energies. Here's the, mm, that's a cool symbol, the prism symbol for the dice. Sticking with the black theme, I like it. And they got a new GX counter. Well, it's not, it's newish. It's just a different like colored scheme on it. Uh, more cardboard, more trash for that. Uh, I think that's it, yep. All right, so, on to the best part, opening the packs. I have my camera like way up, set up high, so it's kind of just a different way of recording that I'm trying to do. Here is a code card. Ooh, do they have energies? I don't, I don't know, uh, I think they do. Let's go with the water. Oh, fighting. Okay, so they do have energy, so that's good. <clears throat> Primplup. Oh, God. Primplup. I can't say that. Pokemon Fan Club. A dinosaur with a helmet. Diglett. Uh, Pliplup. Slandit. Uh, Permission. Permi nah, a monkey. Shinx. Heat. Rotom. And, oh, we got a first pack. We already got a full art Palkia. Let's go ahead and just look at this guy a little bit. Uh... That, just the moves. Hydro pressure. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. Um, spatial control. Uh, move any number of energies from your bench Pokemon to this Pokemon. So this is just, oh. And then, you know, you got his GX, Zero Vanish GX. Shuffle all energy from your opponent's Pokemon into the, uh, their deck. So this is like a game ender right here. Only bad part is... Is that that dragon typing? Cause it is not strong against anything, which sucks. But still, an awesome card if you can get it to work. These sleeves are not perfect fit sleeves. That's upsetting. Move that out of the way. Let's get going to the next one. God, sometimes packs work. Sometimes they don't. All right. Here's another code card. I am fire. Ooh, steel. Let's weak the fire. Alright. Magneton. Spiritomb. The uh, Lowing Dug Trio. Yanma. Bronzor. Gibble. A Roselia. Chimchar. That's a. Uh, huh. It's awesome work. Artwork. It's simple and uh, good at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this Lucario because my brother likes to sleeve his uh, hollow rares and like I said this is his elite trainer box Let's see if I can open this all this is his for the there we go oh no they do the the code color thing shameful uh let's go with water fire now it's fire Ancient Crystal, uh, Cherim, <laughs> come shoe. Oh my God, Spring. Does that not look like Trump? Oh my God, <laughs> this card. Pokemon know knew what they were doing when they made that card. That looks like Trump. If you say it doesn't, well, go look at Trump for a little bit and look back at that card. Frogunk and a Heat Rotom. All right, we uh, got one floor, and we still have, this is the fifth pack, and we still have four left after this. I don't know. From what I've seen of, well, from what I opened, you know, from the pre-release, this, uh, this set hasn't been too forgiving. It has not given me much for myself, but, you know, maybe we'll have better luck with my brother's set. We got two different type of Magnemites there. I'll pull those back up in a second. Slam it and a, ooh, Dawnwing Necrozma. Second hit of this set. Go over here and get that sleeve. Put that in there. 
Oh, well, let's look at his attacks. Invasion once during your turn before you attack this Pokemon. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. Dark Flash, this attack uh, damage isn't affected by resistance. And Moon Eclipse GX. I probably shouldn't have put it in the sleeves, kind of hard to read. You can use this attack only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Print all effects of attack, including damage done, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's not too bad. And you know, 180 damage. Uh, I guess Necrozma is an Ultra Beast, guys. Mystery solved. Because that card says Ultra Beast. and I, well, Unless Lunala is an Ultra Beast. I don't know. Here is Magnemite. Searching Magnet. Uh, search your deck for three Magnet. Um, magnet energies. Metal energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. So that's good if you're running a metal deck, which I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing. This one is not as good. Uh, prevent. Oh yeah, it's it's good if you want to have like a magic carp effect where you're just preventing all damage and have it hold your um your metal energies. And I'll explain why that could be useful later. But we'll continue opening. Hopefully, we can continue the luck. Here is this code card. Um, electric. That's what we got last time was electric, so. Oh, hey, that's such a cute little dinosaur. Looks so cute. The bunny. A unit energy. Uh, Snover. Mokro. Gibble. Dubider. Uh, Stunky. Honchcrow. And a Tapu Lele. Only if that was a, uh, Guardians Rising Tapu Lele. That would be amazing. Still a good card for a simple, non, like, you know, hollow, non-ultra rare. It still has, it has like half the attack of the old Tapu Lele. So, there's that. I'm sure you'll probably see the Tapu Lele from the set being used in the, uh, the Pokemon tournaments and everything. Just not as much as the Guardians Rising Lele. Yama, Marfro, a low and sand slash, and a snow bominal. Have not found a Magnazone yet, which is the card that I ran in my pre release deck. It has a a decent attack and a great ability, so I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of that during the tournaments, uh, especially in metal decks. And maybe, maybe it'll help a certain Pokemon named Dialga. That looks like just a simple artwork, so neat and pretty. Um, Bunry, Morlum, Magmar, a Palpad, uh, shuffle two supporter cards from your disco. Oh, okay, and a Gar uh, Garchomp. I don't know why I wanted to say something different. Garchomp just didn't seem like the right name for it. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic here? White code. Maybe we can. There you go. Let's see. Uh, psychic. Dark. Ooh. Okay. Rotom. Just the regular one. Uh, fossil. Electric energy. Chimchar. The other version of it. Sneasel, Lickitung, a Carnivine, a Glemia, a Sheldon, Shieldon, and a Magmortar Hollow Rare. That's actually a really cool looking card. And let's see what this ability is. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by your opponent's attack, even if it is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burnt. Ooh, that's not bad. Though it's attack under that. This card too. Uh, energies from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. It's a... It can be a power hitter. They can definitely hit hard. So, if you guys like this, uh, please leave a like and a comment down below. We got two hits from this Elite Trainer box, so, you know, that's... It's about average. It's pretty good, because we got a full art and just a regular GX. Uh, the Palicate, though, is really what I'm looking, looking at, because uh, just its ability to uh, remove all energies from your opponent's Pokemon, including bitch Pokemon. Just, that's a game ender right there. Uh, so, I guess next episode is going to be the other Elite Trainer box, so I'll see you guys then.